Hey guys, Andrea from Thinkific here. Uh, I wanted to talk to you today about how to absolutely kill your testimonials on your sales page. Hey guys, Andrea from Thinkific. We're gonna talk about uh, testimonials on your sales pages. As a marketer at Thinkific, I see an absolute ton uh, of sales pages that you have created. And a lot of the time, I see you've created testimonials, some of you don't have any testimonials, but in general, I think that we wanted to just talk today about how do you improve it? How do you make sure that the testimonials that are on your sales page are really working for you? So I have a really, really easy formula for you to follow to be able to make sure that you're killing it. If you, all you have to remember is SSQ. So it's gonna be the SSQ formula. It's gonna be, be strategic, be specific, and then qualify your uh, testimonial. So let's run through what I'm talking about. Uh, the idea of being strategic in your actual testimonial, a lot of people will put a testimonial up or they'll get some feedback and they'll think, yeah, that sounds pretty good. But what we're trying to do is convert uh, viewers to your sales page into actual leads, into, into real sales, into money, into students. And we need to do that by removing barriers into what they're nervous about. Why aren't they kind of purchasing your course? So what we're gonna be doing is looking at how do I actually use my testimonials to be strategic in what I'm trying to sell. When you're creating your sales page, you've probably outlined some of the value propositions about why your course is so good. What makes your course great? What makes your course better than all the other courses out there? So in your testimonials, you can be very strategic in how you align your testimonials to cover the specific points that you're trying to sell. So let's say you are teaching a yoga class and you say your yoga class is better than everybody else's yoga class because in it, you're gonna learn how to become X times more flexible. Well, let's make sure that the testimonials that we use are actually in line with those sales propositions. And so now you have other social proof of customers that have already taken your course actually saying in their own words the sales propositions that you're trying to sell. So that's the first, strategic testimonials that are in line with your sales propositions. Number one. Number two is specific. So I just kind of said X times more flexible. This is your opportunity to really, really quantify your testimonials. So you should make sure that the testimonials you have don't just say, oh, it was a little bit better, but actually say, you can touch my toes now because of yoga. So you wanna specifically quantify the sales propositions that you've been talking about and make sure that your users um, are doing that for you. And the last one is how do you actually qualify that testimonial is coming from somebody? So it's really, really important that uh, when you create your testimonial, you don't just put a testimonial up and just leave it hanging in you know, blue sky. You wanna make sure you add a photo and add a qualified descriptor of where that uh, testimonial is coming from. So make sure you get a really strong image uh, and a really nice tagline at the bottom. So now you might ask, and I get this question all the time is, but I'm new to online course sales and I don't have a course yet. How is it possible that I'm gonna have testimonials for my site? Wonderful question that we're gonna answer right now. First of all, you can look at previous work that you've already done. Your testimonials don't necessarily have to come from the course that you've already done. If you have an offline course or you've done work in your industry before, you can use testimonials that you've gotten from customers outside of online teaching and bring them online. Again, try to make sure that they're specific, strategic and qualified, but absolutely doesn't have to be specifically for this course right away. And you can kind of grow your testimonials as you go. Second thing you can do is send a group of beta testers through your online course. It's a wonderful opportunity for you to actually test your course out, which you really want, make sure there's no bugs, but get a group of 10 of your friends or 10 potential clients to take your course for free. Uh, in exchange for taking your course, they get to learn something, which is wonderful for them, but in exchange, you can expect that you can get a uh, testimonial from them, and that's a great opportunity for you to supplement uh, and make sure that your landing page is ready to go when you're ready for your official launch. So that's two great ways to be able to get testimonials if you don't have a course and you don't have testimonials already. If now, let's say, uh, you have some testimonials and you have students that have gone through your course, but you've seen that your, your testimonials absolutely don't cover the SSQ model, 
So what you can do is take feedback from all the sources that you get feedback from right now. It could be emails that you get and wonderful thank you letters that you get from your customers. It could be social media posts that uh, your customers have put up about your course. So take those, see all the different feedback that you're getting, and then start manipulating it into a testimonial that really follows that SSQ model. So how can I take the words that I've seen all around me already and kind of put them into a formula that makes sense and is strategic for my course now? After you've manipulated those words to, to really be succinct in exactly what you want to say, then you can reach back to your customers and say, hey, I really took the words that you said. Thank you so much for your feedback. I want to be able to use your words on my sales page. Is it okay if I quote you saying this? And you can actually feed them back a tighter, more condensed, uh, more strategic, uh, testimonial uh, and 100% of the time in my experience they've said absolutely use it it's no work for them uh, to be able to have to craft it uh, and then you get exactly what you want to say with the qualified answer of, of being a uh, course creator and a customer that has already gone through your course so great method uh, if you want to have strategic testimonials and you don't have any right now all right, so that's it. Three simple steps, the SSQ formula for how you're gonna create your testimonials on your sales page. So what do you do? Get started right now, go to Thinkific, sign up for your online course, uh, and start building out that, those sales pages and collecting testimonials for yourself. Good luck, and I'm here if you have any questions.